after a year being here trying to stop a huge quantity of, of trash, the word that I will use is satisfaction because um, through this entire year our interceptor system is uh, has worked good. We haven't had any big incidents. The quality of, of the system is responding like uh, we thought and we plan. So yeah, uh, I'm very, very satisfied with the results. You could see uh, this, this side full of, full of material and the other side uh, nothing. Uh, that's the purpose of the system. So our system is working properly. The tons of trash that we extract, that we stop and extract here at this point is uh, amazing. So yeah, the, this, this last year have been uh, really, really good. Here we are at the extraction point where it is located and installed our interceptor barricade system 006 waiting to the flood well uh, the first uh, feeling that you uh, that you have uh, standing here waiting a flood is excitement because you don't know how this river will behave it seems like the river is coming very, very wild. So let's see what happens. This river is incredible. You can hear it. Every time is different. Every time is different and the river uh, brings a lot of uh, strength hitting directly to our, our system. And you could see the, the barricades uh, hanging there, trying to, to hold its position. So it's, it's very, very exciting to, to, to see that. And amazing to see the quantity of trash that the river brings to, to this place. Now that uh, we uh, accomplished one year working here at Las Vacas, uh, the Ocean Cleanup started a new project. Uh, now, 300 uh, kilometers away, uh, we are starting a new project in the community called El Quetzalito. We could say that El Quetzalito is where the Rio Motagua or the River Motagua ends. So this is like a key point to intercept all the plastic and the community is playing a great role here to helping us because they uh, have the knowledge and they know very well the area and they can support us because they know how to handle everything on the river. Well, we are here at a new project in, uh, in Guatemala where we are uh, assembling a new barrier. I think the, uh, the biggest one we ever had. And uh, here next to me you see all the 30 elements partly assembled. This is the barrier. This is the skill model of the barrier. Look. Oh, that's that. It's actually laying like this. But uh, it's supposed to be in the water. This way. And here you have the front. Floats in the back. Walkway. Repeat 30 times. <laughs> That's simple. It's a cape walk, yeah. <laughs> Each worker here is understanding and they know how to do how to do this job. So we have uh, people here that knows the, their job very well so I think that we're uh, working with a good rhythm here and 
What I can say is that we have only pro professionals here working. It's it's been it's been a hard, uh, a lot of planning, um, a lot of uh, work uh, through the screen, talking to the team, everything in the office. So we are live in the weekly team meeting with Guatemala, and we're standing here at the assembly site where the first modules are now being loaded to be transported to uh, El Catsalito. So exciting moment. Bobby, if you can hear us, uh, you're on mute. That's quite loud there, sir. It's a good start. It's the moment where we actually see all this happening. So I'm, I'm a person of... Uh, uh, I like to be on, on site, on the ground. So this, this part is like... To see the realization of the project is just amazing. So, um, being in contact with the people, uh, the weather, going to these remote locations, the adventure that uh, gives you, um, there's always something uh, to enjoy, there's always something to get worried about, there's always something to, um, to fix, um, to coordinate. So, uh, all in, uh, this is really my favorite part, uh, where we get to, to deploy. Action, uh, is, is, yeah, it's, it means a lot to me. Oh, I'm really excited. Um, I know that we're going to be uh, finishing this project here. I think that the operation is going to be big. Uh, I think that we're going to do a great job here, avoiding that all this waste is going to arrive the ocean. So I think that for me it's very exciting to be part of the team, to be part of the ocean cleanup, and to be part of one solution that we can bring to the world.